Hello everybody, tonight I'm going to be testing the other uh, well-known free antivirus, AVG Free Edition. This is AVG 9 Free Edition. And we're going to see how it do, uh, does. So it starts as an, uh, a downloader. So it's going to download the files from an external server. And it's now going to check the internet connection. And then when it's done doing that, it's going to check for connectivity. And then we are going to... So they're really trying to trick you into installing the AVG Internet Security Trial. I'm going to make sure to check off Free, free Edition here. I'm going to be testing uh, their Internet Security later. Uh, maybe we can see how they compare. So while this is downloading, um, it's like 80 megabytes or something, which is astounding for a free antivirus with not much in it. Um, I'm going to pause the video and collect some links, so I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. So we're going to continue installing here. That took about, I guess I'd say, five minutes to download. And we shall see. So it's going to check the system status and standard installation. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I don't care. I'm gonna leave that out. And I'm going to let this install, and I will be back when this is done. All right, installation of AVG was successful, and. We are going to optimize now, so I guess it will check for, um, it, well, it's basically going to check for processes it trusts, and it's going to exclude them from its scanning, and therefore it can optimize performance. Let's open this interface up here, and if you look at the uh, over, overview, um, we have antivirus, anti-spyware, uh, link scanner, email scanner, and then resident shield is active, and then update manager. So let's go hit this updates and uh, gonna get those installed. Oh, there's a program update already. All right, so we're gonna update that too. Make sure everything is up to date. And I'll be right back when this is completely done. Okay, uh, the uh, update's done. We are going to hit advanced settings here. Let's take a look. Uh, appearance, sounds, uh, no, virus vault, that's fine. Pup exceptions, no. Pup is potentially unwanted programs. Link scanner, uh, scans, resonance shield. This is what I want to take a quick look at. Um... Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Not really much to configure here. We're going to say that's good. And... So yeah. Everything looks great right now. And we're updated... I believe... Yes. So we're going to go ahead and test this against some threats, which is what it was really made to be tested. The big problem with AVG is it has no anti-rootkit, and rootkits come with almost everything nowadays. It can scan for rootkits, but it won't protect you against them. And that's the one reason I would never touch AVG. So we'll give this a go. And... That certainly worked well. And we will run that. And that goes right through too. This one seems to go right through also.
This could be a complete fail. Ah, threat detected. We finally have something. Uh, we're going to remove the files of power user, which basically gives it more power to remove the file. And we are going to remove all unhealed infections. And it looks like it cleaned them. So that doesn't go through anymore. So, so far we have quite a bit of not really success. Um, just quite a bit of one file detected, if you call that success. So this one has a, it's a lot of fun running, uh, destroying the system. This one here. Let's see about this one. Does this one get to destroy the system too? These are some rogues here. We'll see how uh, AVG Free does against some rogues. So we will run this one. Some of these are bigger files, so. And don't get much out of that one in terms of uh, interaction by AVG. AVG likes to watch things happen and not participate. Ah, so we get a pop-up. Once it's already seeded its driver in, in um, System 32, Drivers folder, which means that it's pretty well rooted, and I don't know if it could really delete that very easily, so I'm not going to place my bets on that one. Meaning, I yeah, it's still there. It's not going to go away. AVG won't be able to remove that. And I expected that to happen. Uh, once you let one of those things through, you don't get rid of it. Unless you use, you know, really good tools. And AVG is not one of those good removal tools. It's not like you can compare it to malware bytes or anything. All right, so we have like three detections. All right. And then we blue screen. So I have to point out that that was kind of a failure. And I'm not sure I would ever touch AVG. First of all, it doesn't seem to be able to remove what it finds. Second of all, it only detects like 3 out of 10 threats. And ultimately, 3 out of 10, I can't consider safe protection. So, thanks for watching, everybody. This is Will from RogueDatabase.net.